In this demo video, we show how to set up a content application with OpenText Extended ECM for a sales department. We start with system administrator Walter Melkovich. Walter sets up the necessary privileges for the business administrator. Then we switch roles to Hans Waldner. He sets up the sales scenario by using the transport warehouse of Extended ECM. And finally, we see how Nick Wheeler, the business user, is personalizing the sales landing page and assigning a Microsoft Teams to his workspace. Walter Melkovich is using the administration landing page in the smart view. He goes to the system administration where he has access to all administration functionality of OpenText Extended ECM. He can configure server parameters, database, and he has access to a detailed feature uh, configuration. He can also look for certain settings by using the built-in uh, filter and search capabilities. And here we see the business administration capability where business users can be entitled to do certain things in the business administration. So now let's switch role. We are now Hans Waldner. Hans is setting up the business configuration. He starts with the transport warehouse. Here we find packages uh, for metadata, search, classification and other things uh, for the sales audience. So he can deploy the transport packages to a workbench. In this workbench he can change, delete, add certain transport items. But in the easiest case, he just takes the package and deploys it to a system. This creates the necessary categories, which are the metadata schemas and classifications uh, to the system. He does the same um, for the uh, facets and columns and uh, top level folders. They are all in the package and can be deployed to again to the warehouse. In the warehouse, he can do adjustments, but in the easiest case, as I said, he's just deploying the workbench to the system. This creates all the necessary configuration for the sales scenario. The last piece is setting up the workspace templates, which includes customer workspaces, sales order workspaces, and so on. Again, we deploy the transport package to the warehouse. and deploy the warehouse to the system. So let's have a look what the transport and warehouse system has applied to the system. First, let's have a look at the classification. Classification, classify documents and workspaces. So here we see the classification for sales documents that we have transported into the system. Next, let's have a look at the metadata schemas, which are called categories in extended ECM. We see there is a folder, category folder sales, and here you see the metadata schemas for the different business objects we have imported. Now let's have a look at the workspace configuration, which was also transported into the system. The connected workspaces includes the workspace types, and here we see all kinds of workspace types that have been imported to the system. So we look at the customer as an example, the customer workspace. You see the different settings, names, icons, and so on. And one important part is the perspective manager, which basically defines the UI for the workspace in our smart view interface. We can define policies that this workspace is shown to uh, the customer workspace. And here we see all the different widgets which make up the smart view user interface with different tabs and different functionalities in the UI that can all be designed in a graphical way in this perspective manager. Now let's switch role to Nick Wheeler. Uh, Nick is a sales person. Um, he works with OpenText Extended ECM and uses a smart view. This is his landing page. But if you want to change the landing page, we can switch to edit mode. And here in place, we can do adjustment to the user interface. We can open up a catalog of all the different widgets in the system and there are dozens of widgets here. So Nick wants to add a shortcut to his personal area on his landing page. So he drags and drops a widgets into the landing page and configures this as a link to his personal 
workspace. Once he's done, he just clicks save and he has changed his personal experience in the smart view. Now let's have a look at um, a customer workspace. Global Trade is a customer of Nick and he wants to um, have a Microsoft Team collaboration space for his customer workspace. So he can create a Microsoft team from within the extended ECM user experience. So he can connect it to an existing team, he can create a new team, he can make it private or public. So he create a, pi uh, a private Microsoft team which is now connected to the global trade customer workspace in extended ECM. So you can see important information already here in the smart view like conversations and calendar but also with one click of a button, he can directly jump into the Microsoft Teams uh, user experience. In Microsoft Teams, he can see the conversations, but also has access to the OpenText Extended ECM workspace with the documents and also with related items such as contracts, orders and deliveries.